Hey everybody, I'm here today with a full driving lesson on Highway Signs Explained. I'll be going over three basic highway signs that you might encounter while driving and I'm going to tell you how to read them and what they mean. The first one is the exit sign. The second one is the exit approaching sign, so you're approaching an exit. And the third one is a highway split sign, okay? So for the first one, the exit sign, you can see that it says any street. I obviously just made this name up right now. So it's gonna tell you which street you're approaching. So any street would be the street name that the exit is for. And this means that the exit is right there, okay? Right when you see the sign, that's where the exit is. And this is telling you that there are two lanes that exit. The rightmost lane on the highway directly exits. It only exits out. The rightmost lane does not continue. It exits out, okay? And the second lane from the right. So this, this is the right lane that exits out only. And the second lane from the right can either go straight or exit. It does a lane split. Okay, which is sort of like if you're driving on the highway like this, okay, this is the rightmost lane right here. Um, so we're going to draw lines like this, okay? So, and then it's going to continue like this. The highway is going to continue on like that. So basically, and then you have another lane like this, okay, and another lane like that. So basically, the rightmost lane exits out, and it only exits, and then the second lane from the right can either go straight or exit, either way, it splits. Okay, so that's telling you this second lane from the right splits to either an exit lane or straight continuing on the highway lane. Okay, the next one is the exit approaching sign, which just tells you that the exit is approaching shortly. Now, the sign can look like this, or sometimes the distance can actually be underneath this. It can just be in a straight line. So this says somewhere road. Obviously, I just made that name up too. But it's telling you what this, the road or the street name is that you're exiting on, where it's located. So in Toronto, okay, let's just say it's in Toronto, and how many kilometers kilometers away you are from it, okay? Uh, so in this case, it would be, it's in one kilometer. So by, if you know you have to exit on somewhere road, you can get into the closest lane to the exit because you know you're gonna exit in one kilometer, okay? Sometimes there might also be a number up here telling you whatever the number is gonna be, blah, blah, blah. It tells you that's the exit number. So let's say it's exit number 101, you know, it's a 101 up there. Um, it's gonna tell you whatever the exit is. Let's just write that 101. Let's just say that was the exit number, okay? Um, yeah, sometimes you're gonna have that. Last but not least is a third type of highway sign that you might come across, which is a highway split. So in this case, it tells you if you stay left, you're gonna go on to highway 401, okay? Um, this will have a highway sign around it. It sort of looks almost like a crown in my opinion. And then if you stay right, you're gonna go on highway 403. Okay, um, and in this case, so the left lane, as you can see right here, will go only onto the 401. Second lane from the left, only onto the 401, okay? Third lane from the left, okay, will go either onto the 401 or 4, 403. You can go either option with that lane, okay? Um, then we have the fourth lane from the left, right here, which is this one, only goes onto the 403, and fifth lane from the left, or all the way the, the rightmost lane, only goes onto the 403. That's it. I mean, that's really all that there is to it. It's not that difficult. It does take some practice. So when I first got my license, it took me a solid couple of weeks of learning to read highway signs before I was able to do it quickly, right? Because these are signs that are usually only found on the highway, not on main roads. So you're not used to seeing them, but I just wanted to clarify with you um, some of the signs that you might see and how to read them. And that's it. If you like this video, please be sure to give it a thumbs up. Let me know what you think down below as a comment. And of course, be sure to subscribe for more great videos just like this one. And that's all I have for you today. Thanks for watching.